guys, I'm Courtney Randall and today I'm going to take on the Bougie Beauty Challenge. So basically, I'm going to be testing out a high-end, more expensive makeup product versus a more affordable drugstore dupe with no labels and I have to guess which is which. You would assume that the high end would be way better quality judging by the prices, but you never really know, so that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna put it to the test for you guys. All right, so I am fresh faced and we're gonna start out with foundation first. So I'm going to be testing out the La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation from Switzerland, which costs a whopping $215 versus the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, which costs only five. The best part about this is that the high-end version contains caviar. So basically, I signed up to show up today and put fish eggs on my face. Anything for you guys. Let's see which one smells like caviar. Okay, it smells like makeup. Ooh, this smells so moisturizing. This one that smells like flowers in the summertime will go on this side. The colors look the exact same too, which is gonna be difficult. I always apply my foundation with my fingers because I feel like the body heat just kind of helps the product to blend really naturally into my skin. Right off the bat, my instinct is that this one is the drugstore dupe because it's not that full coverage and it's a little bit thin. So I'm just guessing that it's not $215, but you never know. And here's this one. This one feels a lot thicker and more like foundation, so that's nice. I feel like this one just has way more full coverage and covers up all of the redness. That is A, I'm going with high end, and B is dupe. All right, now it's time for highlights so I can get nice and glowy. So I'm going to be comparing the Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter, which costs $70, versus the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, which only costs $4. They both look the same amount of shiny, so this is good. Let's see how this one looks on my face. Oh my gosh, that is intense. Ooh, girl. This is looking good. Nice and shiny. Let's see what this other one is all about. This looks like pure gold right here. That one is not showing up as much. I feel like this one is totally just kind of blending in and giving me a little bit of shine, but this one's like, bam. But it feels a little bit cakey and thick. This one kind of blends in really nicely and looks really natural. I feel like the quality of this one is better. Dupe and high end. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and we can be guessing together. All right, and lastly, we gotta finish it off with some lipstick. So I'm going to be comparing the Chanel lipstick, which costs $37, versus the e.l.f. lipstick from the drugstore, which costs only $1. You know, I'm just over here using my little eyeshadow brush on a potentially $40 lipstick. It's, it's all good. We're on a budget here, guys. This is very creamy and moisturizing, and it's not completely matte. I like that it has a little bit of a shine to it. All right, now for option B. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, guys, to be honest, this one is more pigmented, more matte, and more creamy texture. I feel like this one's a little bit more sheer, so I'm guessing this one is dupe and this one is high end. <gasps> oh yeah, I got that one right. I could see why the high end was $215. It's kind of outrageous, but I did feel glamorous and the dupe wasn't as full coverage. <gasps> Woo, I'm on a roll. I got that one right too. <clears throat> what? Oh my gosh. I was wrong. This one felt so much better. It looked more opaque. It looked more high quality and it was $1 versus $40. I'm shook, guys. All right, guys, well, that's it. Let me know how you did with all of your guesses in the comments below and tell me which products I should test out next time. See ya.